Hey, what's up guys? I'm finally back with another video and here I have a bunch of cubes from speedcubeshop.com and I opened this package just a couple minutes ago. I've just done a few turns on each puzzle, not done a solve on either of them, just, you know, opened the package and did a few turns to get a very brief opinion just so you don't have to watch me like open the package, open all the boxes and just not doing first turns and not knowing what to say, that boring stuff that no one wants to watch. So I'm just trying this instead and hopefully the video won't turn out as long as some of my other unboxings have been. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to start by talking about these 10 MF3 RSs that I have here. Uh, I got these for multiple blindfolded solving because I want to have... Uh, you know, I, I could do a decent amount of cubes with the cubes I currently have. But it's nice to have like a bunch of the same cubes and also all of them in stickerless and also have uh, for when I get better at multi-blind, which I hope to get soon, hopefully. So uh, I'm just gonna take a very brief look at one of these cubes. Obviously it's a budget cube, it's a very cheap cube, so you're not gonna expect the same performance as something like this $60 cube here. But it's good for its price, and uh, if you're a be beginner this is a good alternative. But I don't know if there are like better cubes than this at this price point, but because I'm not the right person to ask for that, I said don't have that many budget cubes, but you can ask someone else for that. So now let's get into these three a little bit more exciting cubes, like a lot more exciting cubes. First we have the X-Men Spark M7x7 with uh, SES Professional Setup Service, which you can get on any cube there for like 4 or 5 dollars, I think. And it's really nice, they like, they lube it and tension it, a pretty basic job to it. Uh, so let's get into this. It's a good cube, but it is locking up a little bit. Like not much, but a little bit. That, and that is a little bit annoying. And that is because the corner cutting is not that fantastic. As you can see here, it does get these annoying lockups a little bit. But they seem pretty easy to fix, I guess. Hopefully. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a big problem. Yeah, this will most likely end up being my main. My current main is the uh, Cosmic Wu GM. Uh, that is quite slow because I don't really practice 7x7 that much anymore. Uh, hopefully this can get me a little bit back, more back into it. Uh, yeah, uh, most likely going to be my main, but it is catching a little bit. But hopefully that will go away with breaking in. Now let's get into the square one. Uh, so it's a Cosmic Usual Little Magic Square 1, which I've been really excited for, and I got these, uh, this, and I really expected it to be slow out of the box because it's a Cosmic Cube, and they're generally very slow out of the box because there's a lot of lube in it, but this I opened and it was surprisingly fast, it's like really fast, but you can still feel that there's, you know, there's lube in it. But I don't know if they they might have like used lighter lube in this because uh, man this is so fast. But I've also heard from other people that have this cube that this is a really fast cube and that so I should probably expect that honestly. Uh, so uh, being that this is a cosmic cube and that it's this fast out of the box, I'm wondering how fast it'll be after like breaking in the lube. Uh, I've heard from people that it's really fast and quite uncontrollable, so we'll see how I feel about that, but I'll most likely end up maining this, because I don't like edges to break on my Cosmic Vault M, as they do on all vaults, and yeah, I just want to, not, I just don't want to deal with that, so I'll probably main this, but I'll have to break it in first and see, I can't promise anything. My main concern is the corner cutting. Yeah, I've heard that pr that's pretty bad, but it doesn't seem to lock up that much. I'm just turning a bit. Actually, a little bit. Because, as you can see, it doesn't cut that much. A little bit worse than the Volt. But, and the Volt is also pretty bad, actually, so, uh, with corner cutting. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll put some more thoughts on all these three cubes in the uh, description once I've broken them in more. But, yeah, let's get into this... GAN 356X. This is actually my first GAN cube, and I've never really liked the GAN cubes. Like, back in the day, in like 2015 and 16, you know, when Felix start, started using the GAN cubes, and all the kids at comps used GAN cubes. Uh, but I tried them, and I never really liked them, actually. So, 
Uh, but the first time I actually really liked the GameCube when I tried it was the 354M. I really liked that one. And then they came out with this, which I also liked, the ones I tried at the comps. And I decided to finally get a GameCube. And I really, really like what Gan is doing with all these cool designs. You, you know, the GS nuts, that's pretty old. But especially this magnet thing. I really, really like that. And they, the fact that you can swap out magnets, all, the, all of them, in like a minute. That's crazy. And I really, really like that. So for now, for how this is right now, it's a bit too flexible for me. I don't know what magnets they have in right now, if it's the strongest one at once, I hope it's not, because I'd prefer stronger, but I think I've heard somewhere that it is. If you know, let me know in the comment section, uh, because uh, I don't know if I... <laughs> I'm lazy, so I might not, like, try all these out, but I might, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I, honestly, I'll probably main it just because you can customize it in so many ways, and you can make it fit, like, almost all turning styles. Uh, so, hopefully I'll end up using it. Hopefully I'll find a setup with all these customizable options that you have that suits my preferences and my turning style. So, uh, yeah, but for now it's a little bit too flexible. So, all these three cubes are great and they'll most likely all end up being my main. Uh, I just, uh, yeah, this one, a little bit unsure, but these two most likely. And uh, yeah, all these cubes you can get at speedcubeshop.com and I'll leave a link down in the description to their store and I advise you to buy your cubes from there because it's a really good site. And I th this shipped really quickly as, um, as this is a cosmic cube, it should have taken a long time to set up. But it shipped quite fast, so that's really nice. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment some future video ideas, or what you thought of this video, or something like that. I'd really ad like some uh, advices for future videos, as I'll try to hopefully upload a little bit again, which I haven't done in quite a while. <laughs> so yeah, bye, and I will see you next time.